Around the world, millions of people suffer from knee pain. These pains can be due to knee injuries such as fractures and torn ligaments or due to medical conditions such as osteoarthritis. Depending on the severity of your injury, knee pain can greatly affect your life. In some cases, it will only add a few minutes to your marathon time, while in others, walking upstairs can be nearly impossible. Current treatment options for knee pain are either temporary or surgical. However, to cure the pain, researchers created synthetic molecules that can block the pain reactions that normally follow an injury. To understand how this works, you first need to know how we feel pain after an injury. Pain starts at the site of an injury. After an injury occurs, molecules called messenger RNA or mRNA start making special pain signaling proteins, which are important for the perception of pain. By mimicking this mRNA, researchers developed decoy molecules that interrupt the processes that make these pain signaling proteins. When injected into the sites of injury on mice, it reduced the inflammation in behavioral responses to pain. Researchers hoped that this could lead to a new class of drugs for pain without any risks for addiction. This could help mitigate the abuse of prescription painkillers and opioids that kills over 100 people per day in the US alone. Treatments for traumatic knee injuries can vary depending on the severity and the specific part of the knee that was injured. A common knee injury in athletes is a tear in the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL. The ACL is in the middle of the knee and is responsible for keeping the knee stable. ACL tears usually occur during sports that involve jumping or shifts in weight, such as basketball, soccer, or downhill skiing. The treatment for this injury is called ACL reconstruction, where a torn ligament is removed and replaced with a piece of tendon from another part of your knee or from a donor. Another treatment option currently available to treat knee injuries involves the injection of platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. With this method, doctors take a sample of your blood and spin it rapidly in a centrifuge machine. This separates your blood platelets and plasma, which contain growth factors that can help heal injuries. The plasma is then mixed with hyaluronic acid, which is a fluid naturally found in the joints. This super concentrated mixture is then injected back into your knee to promote healing. Traumatic knee injuries may lead to knee osteoarthritis. This occurs as a result of wear and tear of the cartilage, which acts as a cushion between joints. This causes the bones to rub against each other, causing inflammation, swelling, and pain. As cartilage does not regenerate naturally, the body is unable to repair the damage. Based on some estimates, nearly 45% of people are at risk of developing knee osteoarthritis at some point in their lives. Conventional treatments, like physical therapy or drugs, offer temporary relief from the pain. Stem cell therapy has shown promise to regrow new and healthy cartilage in joints. When injected into an injured knee, stem cells form a framework upon which new cells can reproduce and replace damaged tissue cells. They can also slow down tissue degeneration, which would decrease pain in the joints. In severe cases of knee injuries, including osteoarthritis, a total knee replacement may be required. In this procedure, parts of the knee joint are replaced with artificial parts to regain free movements. Regardless of whether or not you are athletic, it is important to take care of your joints. Avoid shocking them with harsh impacts, and if you ever do feel any pain, don't ignore it. It's natural for joints to wear down over time, but if you take care of them, you can prolong their health and save yourself from a lot of discomfort.